Good morning. It is Friday, November the 20th, and I am on my way to take the babies to school. Late as usual. Late as usual. I just had the best laugh, guys. <laughs> I was laughing so hard, I was crying. Bam left his jacket at the house, and I refused to go back to the house to get it. So I'm searching my trunk because they the kids like to leave cold um, clothes and stuff in the car. I'm searching my trunk looking for a jacket for him. I can't find it. So I go to my mom's house. I walk into my mom's house because I go. Yeah, I walk into my mom's house because I go over there every morning after I drop the big boys off to school and you know visit with her because they had to be to school at seven and the babies have to be to school at eight. Anyways, my niece has an extra jacket. <laughs> Mind you, my niece is four, but this jacket says. It was seven eight, and Bam wears seven eight. Okay, <laughs> it's plaid, orange, yellow, pink. So I've talked him up that boys wear pink, which they do, but he's just not feeling it. So I get this jacket over his head, guys. It was like a second skin. <laughs> it was so tight he couldn't even put his arms down. <laughs> like he was stiff, stiff arms, like for real. It was hilarious, and I laughed for a good five minutes, and that's why we're late because I couldn't stop laughing. Like my stomach hurts. I think I got like an ab workout, a serious ab workout. My stomach hurts. I had tears rolling down my face. That was some funny stuff. So I eventually find the plaid shirt that he wore yesterday over his shirt for his Thanksgiving feast. And he's wearing that as a jacket. But I'm sorry, that I should have taken a picture or some type of video. Mama. And if I wasn't laughing so hard, I would have. But yeah. Um. <laughs> People, people. This is the best. This is the best. I can't. I can't help it. It was hilarious, and I'm probably a bad mom because I laughed so hard at him, and he. You could tell he was upset, but he argued with me up and down this morning. My jacket's in the car. My jacket's in the car. Are you sure, Bam? Yes. And so is my book bag. Jacket not in the car. Book bag in the car. Not in the car. It's only a half a day today. You're only in school for two and a half hours. You're just gonna do without it. a jacket and a book bag today. So yeah, that was my laugh for the day. I'm about to go uh, drop them off at of school. I have to go sign them in, you know. Story of my life. And then I have work, so I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, got off of work about an hour and a half ago. Argued with Walmart's warranty program for about a good 45 minutes. I have called a total of six times trying to uh, get a mailing label for my son's 3ds because the screen is messed up and my warranty it's about to be over so I'm trying to go ahead and send it in before it is expires and they tell me well your warranty expired Miss Hunter we can't do anything for you so miraculously their system has been down it's like nearer to my uh, warranty expiration date I just I don't I don't buy that at all so I've been on their butts like every day for three weeks. And this is ridiculous because when I initially filed a claim, I was going to be able to have his um, 3DS back in time for Christmas because I'm purchasing him something, some games that he can use on his 3DS. But because they keep beating around the bush and giving me the runaround, it's not going to be here to after Christmas. And I'm not happy about that because that is like the central point of what I'm getting him for Christmas. And he needs that or he won't be able to play with his big present so i'm not happy about that but i'm on my way to do some grocery shopping for the next two or three days because i'm not going back into walmart um i'm wasting too much gas and too much time and every time i go in there i'm supposed to get one thing and i come out like my pockets are a lot lighter so yeah i'm gonna go do and do i'm going to go do some grocery shopping for at least the rest of the weekend all up to Monday. The kids are out all next week, so I'm gonna make sure they have enough snacks and stuff at the house and I have enough food to eat or cook for everybody to eat, not just me. So that's my, that's what I'm about to do now. I'm about to go pick my mom up, probably Regine, cause she's probably gonna go and beg and think she's gonna get something, but she's in for a rude awakening. And, and then me and the boys and the girls are gonna head to the house. I'm gonna rent us a movie on voodoo because I have a $10 credit and we're just going to enjoy our weekend. We're just going to chill out this weekend. I'm excited. I'm really excited about that. And I can't wait to uh, get the weekend started. So oh, y'all get to see all of the boringness that is us. <laughs> Watch out. 
chocolate for the kids and at the very top, ooh, ooh, Ghirardelli. We're gonna try that chocolate caramel. That looks super delicious. Oh my God, I can't wait to drink some of this tonight. You gonna have hot chocolate with me tonight? Uh, yes. What are you gonna put in your hot chocolate? Um, the same thing. What is the same thing? Marshmallows. All right. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. This one and this. I also got me some. <coughs> some choking, I guess. Some chai latte. Ooh. Because I'm going to make my own chai latte. Show Starbucks how it's done. All right. We went grocery shopping at Walmart, as you saw previously. And... We're about to go ahead and put all these groceries up. I didn't really get anything too special. I didn't get anything for Thanksgiving except a uh, brown sugar ham. But that's about it. You probably hear Bam in the background. He's upset because he's in trouble for being disrespectful. So all of that extraness he's doing, I'm ignoring. But yeah, um, we're about to put these groceries up, which is... The least fun part of all of this. I like shopping, but I don't like putting it up. <laughs> The vlog is probably pretty short, like super, super short today. Um, I've dozed off several times tonight. We were supposed to have family movie night. Um, I rented Pixels on Voodoo, and I guess everybody's had a long week because about 30 minutes into the movie, everybody up here was knocked out on the living room floor. There was just bodies everywhere. <laughs> so, and I just woke up about... 10 minutes ago and yeah so I'm going to go ahead and probably get my lazy butt up off of this living room floor even though I don't want to move and go to bed me and journey um my partner in crime she's over there you probably can't see her either oh <laughs> we just couldn't make it tonight and good thing the movie rental is 48 hours long because we can try this Again tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This week, I guess, has been really tiring. Because I've done a lot of shopping. Like, a lot, a lot of shopping for Christmas. I cannot wait. I know this is, I know this is bad to say. But I cannot wait until Christmas is over. Christmas is exactly 35 days away. And I am counting down those days, like, really quickly. I love holidays. I throw a party at home for my kids for every single holiday. Um, New Year's Eve, Christmas holiday, um, Halloween, St. Patrick's Day, um, Valentine's Day. I always, and I've been like this since my oldest son was small, I always throw them a, a party at home for just my kids. And I make them goodie bags and I cook party themed food. St. Patrick's Day, I try to make everything green, and Valentine's Day, everything, like, really cutesy with pink and red and white for the kids, and so that's just me, because growing up, we didn't really do a lot for the smaller holidays, except for Christmas, we didn't really do 
birthdays and Halloween and stuff like that. So I kind of missed that experience growing up. And I wanted to give my kids, like, memories. And not having to spend a lot of money to create memories is what I'm all about. Because it's these things that they're going to remember. So I'm, like, super excited for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Not because of presents and stuff like that. But because of the time that I spend in creating these memories making them special for my kids like decorating all of that so that's what makes it special for me not the gifts and my kids have told me time and time again that they just love their parties for just them and I guess it is kind of fun since I do have a lot <laughs> and I would have two more if I could but it's another story for another day so I'm gonna cut this vlog short guys but I will see you tomorrow and until next time good night such a big book nerd. Every time I come into Target, I have to look into their book section or, or when I go in any store, I look and see what books they have. And I found this. Let me flip it over. So, this is Life and Death, Twilight Reimagined. This is going to be written, or she rewrote the first book. If Bella was a boy and Elle was a girl, and I'm like really tempted to buy it because I am a Twilight.